at the 2018 SMSF Trustee Empowerment Day and with me is the founder of Miller Super Solutions, Tim Miller, to talk about what he's about to present uh, to the audience today. Welcome, Tim. Yeah, um, you're taking us through some super reforms today. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm here for. There's, there's been a fair bit uh, going on in the last probably 18 months. Uh, all kicked in from July 2017, but a lot of it's still ongoing. So for trustees, there's a lot of stuff to keep up to date with and uh, in an ever-changing ever environment. Are there any particular things that trustees want to know about more than others? Yeah, look, I think, I think the biggest thing that I'm finding now, because everyone's used to, when they have a self-managed super fund, that's my fund, I can put money in uh, to increase the, the balance, but everyone really wants to understand what the rules are now around making contributions to super, because a lot of it and a lot of these new measures are linked to this whole concept of total superannuation balance. And so it's a fair bit to get your head around. Uh, to ensure that you're doing the right thing when it comes to contributing to your fund. Okay, that's the here and now. Yep. Over the next, say, six to 12 months, what do you think that trustees should be concentrating on when it comes to these sorts of compliance issues? Yeah, okay. Well, well again, I guess where we're looking over that sort of time frame is that we're well and truly embedded into the, the super reform world so we're probably one to two years in so people have a greater understanding of, of what that means for their fund and all these concepts so it's a little bit more about the planning around should they go into transition to retirement when do they start their pension uh, where do they sit in regards to the uh, the transfer balance cap and the, the 1.6 million dollars but also what what new measures or potential new measures are going to impact their their super fund in the future potentially as well. Now, hopefully in 2019, you will be presenting those themes as well to the audience. Yeah, well, look, they're, they're the sorts of things that uh, we're expecting to be able to present on next year, but uh, you just never know in the super environment what's, uh, what's around the corner. But, of course, we've had some preemptive measures that we're expecting to come in by 1 July 19. Whether they do is another matter. But the increasing self-managed super fund membership from four to six is one, and also the, the capacity for people to top up their super once they finish work uh, after turning 65 is another, another measure that we, I guess, look forward to seeing a bit more of the detail about in the future. Okay, that's a lot to anticipate, but it sounds really good. So thanks for your time today, Tim. No worries at all, Darren. Cheers.